look, everyone has a problem with time, but the day has 24 hours and we sleep six. Now I know there's some out there that say, whoa, 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 I need eight. Well, I say just sleep a little faster because the bottom line is we have six hours of sleep, 24 hours are available, so you have 18 hours now available to your work, your family, your hobbies, and also to learn something new or to do something new, which could easily be that you want to learn a new language or that you want to read as a you know, newest resolution after read a book every week, or, or you say, I'm gonna go and reshape my body. So you're gonna go and take this hour out of your schedule and say, I'm gonna train an hour every day. So this is for most people a, hu a huge challenge, but it is totally doable, I can tell them, because the kind of things that I did when I came to this country, I mean, I went to school, I was working in construction, I was working out my five hours a day. I was taking acting classes from eight o'clock at night to 12 midnight. I was doing all of those things. I wanted to make sure that out of the 24 hours of the day, that I don't waste one single hour. Those hours were too precious. And so there I just want to tell people, don't give me this thing, I have a difficult time with the time and I don't have time for this and I don't have that. You have time, you make the time. When the President of the United States has time to work out, when the Pope has time to work out, then you have time to work out.